One time a girl came in, she was paying with a, a photo ID, so she covered up the picture and she said, don't look at that, I'm ugly in that picture. Please, I'm ugly in that. And I was like, I could see her. So <laughs> I could tell if she was ugly, which she wasn't, like photo doesn't trump reality either way. Like, if you have an ugly picture and a nice face, that's, you should show it off, you know what I mean? Be like, check out this, this is before, this is now, right? <laughs> Like, if you're a negative two there and an eight in real life, now you're a 10. I think that's how math works. So, you can't do it. You don't want to do it the other way. You have an ugly troll face, but you have a really nice picture. You're like, check it out. Hold it here. Don't look behind. Don't want to see the wizard. No. Just see the magic of photography. People are weird with, uh, with looks. You know, our society, obviously. Evolution, et cetera. Ugly people. They're still here, though. Uh, <laughs> And let's say, I mean, none of them. Let's say anybody listening to this or watching this, you're not one of them. I'm talking about other people. So, but it's weird. Like, from childhood, we learn, that, what's the story? The ugly duckling. What's that about? A duck was ugly. Then it grew up and found out it was actually beautiful, but also a different species. So, <laughs> sort of a weird M. Night Shyamalani twist at the end. That I don't know how that's supposed to be inspiring to a kid. Be like, hey, stop crying. Maybe you're not a hairy, ugly child. Maybe you're gonna grow up and find out you're a beautiful chimpanzee. <laughs> you could be the most, <laughs> the chimpiest chimp, the chimp of the ball, you know? In high school, sometimes there were cheerleader cheers. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. That's a real cheerleader cheer. Can you have an alibi for being ugly? Is that a thing? Oh, it wasn't me that was ugly. I was at the mall. I was purchasing some beauty products. <laughs> you must have me mistaken for somebody else.